English for Arabs is English for all. Presentation Plus is available exclusively with the new fourth edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. Highlight key concepts. Reveal answers to exercises. Annotate passages. Play class audio passages and video segments. And even embed web links right into your lessons. You can learn English as a second language. Simple present questions. Do you get up early? No, I get up late. Does he eat lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. Do they take the bus to class? No, they take the subway. What time do you get up? At ten o'clock. What time does he have dinner? At eight o'clock. When do they take the subway? On Tuesdays and Thursdays. Simple present questions. Do you get up early? No, I get up late. Simple present questions. Yes, no questions. In these questions, you will have the answers with yes and no. Do you get up early? No, I get up late. Does he eat lunch at noon? Does he eat lunch at 12 o'clock? In the middle of the day? No, he eats lunch at 1 o'clock. At noon at 12 o'clock? No, he eats lunch at 1 o'clock. Do they take the bus to class? No, they take the subway. To make a question, do you, do you, do we, do they, Main verb, get up, take, eat. Answer, no or yes. Does, does he, does she, does it? Main verb, does he eat lunch? No. Does he eat lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. Does he speak French? Yes, he does. WH questions. What? When? What time? When? To ask about time. What time do you get up? At 10 o'clock. What time does he have dinner? At 8 o'clock, when do they take the subway? The subway, the underground. On Tuesday and Thursday. What time, when? WH question. What, when, what time? Do, does, subject. Verb, main verb, get up, have, take. Now, let's have this wonderful PowerPoint presentation with Mr. Kyle. Does Homer have a family? Yes, he does. Do they have a house? Yes, they do.
What does he like? He likes donuts. Where do they live? They live in Springfield. Okay, today the grammar is the question for the simple present. The question in the simple present, we start with an auxiliary. For the subjects I, you, they, and we, the question auxiliary is do. So, do, then the subject, then the verb. Now, a question like this is a yes-no question. Yes and no. So, when we say yes to the question, we say yes, and then the subject, and then do, the auxiliary. When we say no, we say no, the subject, and don't, the negative auxiliary. Very good. Now, for the third person, remember, he, she, and it is for the third person. Our auxiliary for the question is does. It's the third person conjugation. So we use does, the subject, and the verb. And remember, we use the normal verb. No S. The third person conjugation is on the question. The question auxiliary. For example, does. Now, when we say yes to the question, we say yes, the subject, and does. Again, the auxiliary. And no, we say no, the subject, and doesn't, the negative auxiliary. Okay, remember, for the question, we use the auxiliary do or does to start the question. Then the subject, then the verb. Very good. So let's practice. For example, the question is do they watch TV? Again, the auxiliary do because my subjects are they. Do they and then the verb watch. Do they watch TV? Now, the answer is yes, they do. But for this one, the answer is no, they don't. Very good. All right, another example. So, the question is, does he eat breakfast? Remember, the third person question auxiliary does because my subject is he, and then my verb, eat. Does he eat breakfast? Now, the answer, yes, he does. Or, for this example, no, he doesn't. Very good. Okay, more practice. More practice with the verb like. The question, 
Does Homer like his neighbor? No, he doesn't. This example, does he like donuts? Yes, he does. Remember, the auxiliary for these questions is does, because my subject is about he, Homer. Very good. Okay, the next example with study, study. For example, do you study Spanish? Do you study Spanish? No, I don't. Or do you study English? Yes, I do. So remember, the auxiliary is do for the question because my subject is you in the question. Very good. Okay, the next part of the grammar are WH questions. WH questions are the same as normal questions, but with a WH question word. So we use WH question word and the auxiliary and the subject and the verb. So for example, where do they live? The question word, the auxiliary, do, my subject, they, and the verb, live. Where do they live? They live in Springfield. Very good. And remember the third person conjugation. It's the same, but remember to use the third person question auxiliary, does. So for example, what time does he wake up? The question word, what time, the auxiliary, does, my subject, he, and my normal verb, wake up. Remember, this is the third person conjugation on the question auxiliary. So what time does he wake up? He wakes up at 5.30. Okay, time to practice. Practicing with the verb work. For example, where does he work? Where does he work? And the answer, he works at a nuclear power plant. And remember the conjugation, S, for the subject, he, third person conjugation. Very good. For the verb eat, eat, what time do they eat dinner? What time do they eat dinner? And the answer, they dinner at 6.30. Very good. Okay, for the verb take a shower. For example, what time does he take a shower? What time does he take a shower? And the answer, he takes a shower at 545. And remember, the verb and the answer with the third person conjugation for he. He takes a shower. Very good. Okay, now the verb study. For example, 
what do you study? What do you study? And the answer, I study English. Very good. Okay, one more with the verb play. Play. For example, when does she play the saxophone? When does she play the saxophone? The answer is she plays the saxophone on Mondays and Wednesdays. Very good. Okay, to review, the yes, no questions use do and does for the auxiliary. Then the subject, then the verb. And the answer, we say yes and the subject and do or does and no the subject don't or doesn't. For example, does Homer have a family? And the answer, yes, he does. And for the WH question, remember, we use a WH question word, do and does for the auxiliary, the subject, and the verb. For example, where do they live? And of course the answer is, they live in Springfield. Okay, now you know how to make simple present questions. Okay, thanks for watching and good luck. Time expressions, early, late, every day. Time expressions, early, late, every day. At, at nine o'clock, at noon, at midnight, at night. At plus o'clock, certain time. So we will add nine o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock. At noon, at 12 o'clock in, in the middle of the day. At midnight, at 12 o'clock at night. At night. In part of the day. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. On plus day. On Sundays, on Sundays, on weekdays, on weekends. On or on, on Sundays, on weekdays, on weekends. On Sundays, every Sunday. On Sunday, one Sunday, on Sunday. But on Sundays, every Sunday. Let's check this PowerPoint presentation for time expressions. Time expressions. Time expressions. In. At. On. In. In the morning. In the afternoon. In the. 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 Plus vowel. The. In the afternoon, in the evening, in the evening, the plus vowel, the vowels, a, e, i, o, u. In, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. So in plus part of the day. In, part of the day the morning, the afternoon, the evening. At. At 
o'clock, at seven o'clock, at eight o'clock, at nine o'clock, at o'clock, at at night, at night. Take care. We say at night. At noon, at noon, at twelve o'clock, at seven o'clock, at twelve o'clock, at noon, at noon, at twelve o'clock, at noon, at midnight, midnight, twelve o'clock at night, at midnight, at dawn, dawn, at dawn, at plus exact time like at seven o'clock. At noon, at twelve o'clock, at twelve o'clock, at midnight, at dawn, at night. On, on plus a day, on day, or days, on days. On Saturday, on Saturday, on one day, on Saturday, I work on Saturday. On Saturdays, Saturdays, every Saturday. I work every Saturday. I work on Saturdays. I work on Saturdays. On British American on. On Saturday, on Saturdays. On weekends, American on, on weekends, weekends, days of the week that we don't work. We don't work on weekends. The weekend in Egypt is Friday. Weekdays, weekdays, days of the week. Now, Complete the questions with do or does. You will write do or does. Do you get up early on weekdays? What time do you go home on Fridays? What time do you go home on Fridays? Does. Does your father work on weekends? Does your mother cook every day? Do your parents read in the evening? When do your parents shop? When do your parents shop? Seven. Do you check your email at night? Do you check your email at night? Eight. What time do you have dinner? What time do you have dinner? Nine. When do you study? When do you study? Ten. Does Does your best friend drive to class? Does your best friend drive to class? Ten. Does. Eleven. What time does your father get up? Your father, he. What time does he get up? What time does your father get up? B. Bird work. Ask and answer the questions from part A with time expressions from the box. Do you get up early on week in weekdays? Yes, I get up at seven o'clock. So in this question, you will answer the question. What time do you go home on Fridays? I go home on Fridays at ten o'clock. Does your father work on weekends? No, he doesn't. Four. 
Does your mother cook every day? Yes, she does. Do your parents, do your mom and dad, do your parents read in the evening? Yes, they do. When do your parents shop? My parents shop. My mom and dad shop. My father and mother shop. My parents shop on Friday. Do you check your email at night? Yes, I check my email at 9 o'clock. What time do you have dinner? I have dinner at 8 o'clock. When do you study? I study in the afternoon. Does your best friend drive to class? No, he doesn't. He doesn't have a car. What time does your father get up? My father gets up at 8 o'clock in the morning. He gets up at 8 o'clock in the morning. See, an scramble. An scramble is a question to complete the conversations. Then ask a partner the questions, answer with your own information. In this exercise, you'll put the words in order. Do you check your email every day? Yes, I check my email every day. You every day check your email do. So do you check your email? every day you what time lunch do eat what time do you eat lunch what time do you eat lunch two what time do you eat lunch b at 1 p.m. three a start does 8 o'clock this class 3 does this class start at 8 o'clock does this class start at 8 o'clock does this class start at 8 o'clock no this class starts at 9 o'clock does this class start at 8 o'clock? No, this class starts at 9 o'clock. Study, you, English, do, when? When do you study English? When do you study English? When do you study English? I study English in the evening. Five. Yes, we play soccer on Saturdays. On weekends, you and your friends do play sports. Do you and your friends play sports on weekends? Do you and your friends play sports on weekends? Do you and your friends play sports on weekends? Yes. Who play soccer on Saturdays? Exercise number eight, listening. Page 40, exercise eight, listening. Marsha's weekly routine. Listen to Marsha talk about her weekly routine. Check the days she does each thing. Do you get up early every day, Marcia? Well, no. 
I only get up early on weekdays and on Saturdays. I go to school from Monday to Friday, and I work on Saturdays. So I get up around seven o'clock. How about on Sundays? On Sundays? Then I sleep late. What else do you do? I mean, do you exercise during the week? Yes, but not every day. I swim three times a week on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Oh, and I also play tennis on Saturdays after work. So I exercise four days a week. What about the rest of the weekend? When do you see your friends and family? Let's see. I see friends on Fridays and Saturdays, and that's in the evening. And I visit my family on Sundays. When do you study? Every day. Wow, you're really busy. What about Marsha? When does she get up? She gets up on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Wednesdays, Saturdays. So she gets up early in all the days, except Sundays. Sundays, no, she doesn't get up early on Sundays. When does she go to work? She works on Saturday. So she works on Saturdays. Does Marsha exercise? Yes. She goes swimming on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Swimming? Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays. She plays tennis on Saturday. She plays tennis on Saturday. When does she see friends? She sees her friends on Fridays and Saturdays. On Fridays and on Saturdays. When does she see her family? She sees her family on Sunday. She sees her family on Sunday. When does she study? She studies every day. She studies every day. She's really busy. She studies in all the days. She's very busy. Exercise number nine, my routine. What do you do every week? Write things in the chart, calendar. In this exercise, he will write the things that he do on every day. Example, I go to bed late on Fridays. So Friday, he go to bed late. When do you get up early? I get up early in all the days. On Sundays, Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays. When do you study? I study on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I do not study on Friday or Saturday. I don't study on Friday or Saturday. When do you watch TV? I watch TV on Sundays and Mondays. When do you go to work? I go to work on Sundays, Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays.
Do you check your email? I check my email every day. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I check my email every day. Exercise number 11. Interviews or interviews. In this exercise, you will have a passage, a comprehension, a reading. You will read this. Okay. To get more information about three people, three persons. What are the daily schedule? Page 41, exercise 11, reading. What's your schedule like? Student reporter Mike Starr talks to people on the street about their schedules. Brittany Davis, college student. What's your schedule like? My classes start at 8 a.m., so I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. When do your classes end? They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. So when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening, from 8 until midnight. Number 1. Brittany Davis. What's her job? Brittany is a college student. What's her schedule like? Her classes start at 8 o'clock in the morning. What time does she get up? She gets up at 7 o'clock. Does she walk to school? No, she takes the bus. When does her classes end? Her classes end at noon. At noon? At, at 12 o'clock? At noon. At 12 o'clock? In the middle of the day. Her classes end at 12 o'clock in the middle of the day. Does Brittany have a job? Yes, she has a job. She has a job at the library. When does she study? She study in the evening. She studies in the evening from 8 o'clock until midnight. From 8 o'clock until 12 o'clock. Every day she studies in the evening from 8 o'clock until 12 o'clock. Until midnight. Justin Reed, City Tour Guide. What's your schedule like? I get up at 6.15 a.m. and start work at 9. And what do you do before work? I go for a run at 6.30 a.m. and then I have breakfast at 7. And after work? I finish at 6 p.m. and I have dinner downtown. Do you work every day? No, I work on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Justin Reed What's his job? City tour guide. What's his schedule like? He gets up at 6.15. 6.15 a.m. A.m. Early in the morning. In the morning. At what time does he start work? He starts work at 9 o'clock. What does he do before work? He goes for a run at 6.30. At what time does he have breakfast? He has breakfast at 7 o'clock. What does he do after work? After work, he has dinner downtown. At what time does he finish the work? He finished his work at 6 p.m. Does he work every day? No, he doesn't. He works on Fridays. Saturdays and Sundays. He works three days a week.
my true rock musician. Listen. Maya Chu, rock musician. What's your schedule like? Well, I work at night. I go to work at 10 p.m. and I play until 3 a.m. What do you do after work? I have dinner at 3.30 or 4. Then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 5 in the morning. Maya Chu, rock musician. Rock O as a sound rock. Musician S A Z and Chen sound musician Chen Chen C A N Chen musician, rock musician. What's her schedule like? At what time does she work? She works at night. She works at night. She goes to work at 10 p.m. She starts work at 10 o'clock in the evening. She plays until 3 a.m., 3 o'clock in the morning, after midnight. What does she do after work? She has dinner at 3.30 or 4 o'clock. Then she takes a taxi home. What time does she go to bed? What time does she sleep? She goes to bed at 5 in the morning. A. Read the article, the number of the activities in each person's schedule from 1 to 5. In this exercise, you read about Brittany Davis and you put these activities in order like one, two, three, four, five. One, she gets up. E. Two. B. She takes the bus. Three. A. She goes to class. Four. C. She works. 5. D. She studies. Again the answers. 1. E. 2. B. 3. A. 4. C. 5. D. Just to read. One D he gets up. Two E he goes for a run. Three A he has breakfast. Four B he starts work. Five C he eats dinner. The answers one D two E three A four B five C. Maya Chu. One, she goes to work. D. One D. Two, she finishes work. B. Three. A. She has dinner. Four. E. She goes home. Five. C. She goes to bed. Again the answers 1 D 2 B 3 A 4 E 5 C B. Write five sentences about your schedule. Are you an early bird or a night owl? Compare with a partner. Are you an early bird or night owl? Do you get up early? Do you get up early? Early bird. Do you sleep late 
Do you stay up all the night? You're a night owl. You're a night owl. You're a night owl. Are you an early bird or a night owl? I get up at six o'clock in the morning. I'm an early bird. I get up at six o'clock in the morning. I'm an early bird. My brother stays up late. He sleeps at seven o'clock in the morning. He gets up at three o'clock in the afternoon. He's a night owl. Night owl sees after the night owl. Early bird opposite night owl. That's the end of unit six, part two. Homework number one. Study by heart the words. Number two. Listen and repeat. Repeat, repeat. Three. Study the grammar. Four. Answer. The workbook. Unit six. Three pages. We can watch the video. نتفرج على الفيديو حلقة الفيديو لمدة خمس دقايق فقط مقدماها كامبريدج and please do not forget to subscribe for our channel and Mr. Kyle channel he has two channels Mr. Kyle the channel and my English brand channel share videos it's a community. We're all doing this together.